you talk about parenting, right? Mm-hmm. And as I started going to therapy, uh, I guess about a month or so ago, months and some change, one of the biggest things that I learned from therapy is how much conditioning I have from my parents, how many good traits, bad traits, whatever traits I got from my upbringing, how right. many how much childhood trauma that I experienced and didn't even know that I experienced it until I talked to a therapist just about something and we peeled back a couple of layers and I go, Oh shit. Right. That's kind of fucked me up. And I remember this now that we're talking about it. Yeah. This happened when I was seven and I have not recovered from this the way that I would like to, you know, mm-hmm. and you've talked about mm-hmm. therapy and why don't you think our people go to therapy and what can people like you and I who go and are comfortable talking about it on our platforms do to help more people go as long as they can afford it? I think that um, you said that right there. I think the number one thing is that people think that it's expensive. If you go to openpathcollective.org, you don't have to have insurance or anything. All you do, and this is what I did. I went to openpathcollective.org. And if that ain't right, just DM me. I'll give you the real one because I really can't remember if that's right or not. But this is what I went to. And um, you don't have to have insurance. Um, you find therapists that you think will be fitting for you. And you, like for me, I, I seen five therapists and I wrote down their email. And I emailed them and told them, hey, $30 is my budget. Like, that's it. <laughs> like, straight up. And, like, two th- two or three wrote me back, you know, and then I narrowed it down from there. Like, okay, she will be the one for me. Like, they accepted that. Like, $30. Boom. And um, so I think that's number one is, like, people think it's expensive. But I just gave you a resource right there, openpathcollective.org. You don't have to have insurance. You know, you email them people and tell them what your budget is. And they tell you, that's cool. Like, you know, the first one is free. Let's, you know, talk about things and see what you're going through. And then we'll start from there. Um, So I think that's the number one thing. And I think number two is just that uh, nobody knows about it, which I'm proud of our generation because I think that we are starting to talk about it more. So um, it's bringing a lot of awareness to the fact that, like, it's okay to have a therapist, you know, because I sit and listen to my grandmothers tell stories and I see how ashamed they are to tell the truth. And I think that's what happened. Like, you know, your grandmothers or whoever tell you, like, you know, it's just all swept under the rug. So yeah. I'm, I'm part of our generation for now bringing awareness to the fact like it's okay. You know what I'm saying? So, but to go back to your point, I think number one, the thing is people think it's expensive. And, um, you know, I just dropped a resource right there for people that um, don't have insurance or I'm going to tell you the truth. I have insurance, but I still went to that, use that resource. Cause I think sometimes the system is so fucked up that if I went through my insurance, I'd be paying more. You know what I'm saying? So I still use openpathcollective.org and paying $30, you know what I'm saying, every two weeks to go to my therapist. So, um, yeah, I think it's just like a money thing and an awareness thing. Yeah, so if you can uh, afford to smoke reef and get drunk, you can afford to go to therapy. That's what um, I'm thinking. Like my, I'm going to have a transport parent moment right here and just say that um, my girl was like, if you can go to Zaxby's, you can afford going to therapy. And I'm like, damn, like Zaxby's, that's it. Like, but once you think about it, like them eight, nine dollar meals, like add up to thirty dollars quick. So it's like you can afford that. Like, go get some a loaf of bread and some sandwich meat. And like, if you can't afford that, just save and cut costs and eat at home and do what you need to do to, you know, be a better person and you know, whatever. And, and I and I just think it's so important. And I know some people get tired of hearing it. And other people who are like, bro, I don't have any problems. I don't need a therapist. Like, no, no, no. You have problems. 
I, I'm not saying that your problems right. can't overwhelm you, but I'm not saying that you can't be a highly functioning, highly but functioning individual. If them are your homeboys, you hear it all the time. Oh yeah, I, I, I tell my homeboys all the time, I'm like, hey bro, ain't nothing wrong with going to therapy. Ain't nothing wrong with getting in touch with your feelings. There's nothing right. wrong with you hear them vent to you all the time to the point where you're just like, like you know, I, you gotta Bruh, have help. I'm you tired know. of hearing about what you and your girl going through. It's the same cycle every two weeks. Because what it boils down to is some childhood trauma stuff that, like, you know, they probably ain't even told you. So you, ca how can you, you know, help them if you don't even know what it all boils down to? You know. And and that's the thing about therapy that I think people who don't go miss is that, hey, you're talking to somebody who you can be totally vulnerable with. And the thing is, if you tell them something and you don't want to face them again, you don't have to. Right. Whereas you can't tell your friend some of your like most vulnerable moments. You know what I mean? Like, I can't tell my friends that, yeah, I struggled for probably about 18, 19 years. So like I never fit in because I felt like nobody related to me. And right. they'll be like, bro, but you was cool. But like, we was all, I like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I didn't feel as welcome as it may have appeared that I, that I felt in that moment because right. of this, this, and this. You know and what I mean? Like mean, your friends don't even mean to be that type of way. They just the crazy thing is they may be trying to encourage you, but a therapist is going to dig deep into why that even bothers you. So your friends, they're not bad friends. They're just like trying to encourage you, like, bro, ain't nothing wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. But they're not licensed therapists to be like, okay, well, what triggered this? Because that's the thing. Like, if I get upset today, I'm like, why is this triggering me? And then I go back and I'm like, that's why it triggers me, and it's like, and I think the word <laughs> the word triggered is so important, right? Because yeah, people are always talk about oh that triggered me. Oh, I can't be around this because it triggers me. Look, things are gonna trigger you. Everything yeah. triggers something, you know. For every action, there's an equal opposite reaction, whatever, right? Mm -hmm. That's that's a fucking trigger. But what we have to find is, and just like COVID, we have to learn how to live with our triggers. How do we deal with things that will trigger us? Because avoidance doesn't work either. Like, oh, I'm not going to do this because this triggers this. Right. And I think there's a thin line there because it's life. We're going to have to deal with things. But at the same time, if something is triggering you so bad to the point where, you know, you feel like, you know, it's just fucking you up like create a boundary. You know what I'm saying? So I get what you're saying because that's true. Like every day you can't be this angry person and go to McDonald's and something not go your way and it trigger you. Now you cussing everybody out. Like that's just a waste of your energy. So I get what you're saying. But at the same time, like if something is triggering you to the point where you just, you know, don't feel like yourself, like create a boundary. Like you don't have to deal with that. Cut that person off or you know don't do this and then be good so there's like a thin line there so i get exactly what you're saying because it's like life you're gonna have problems like you you gotta learn how to maneuver and adjust you know 